time we're going to rewrite yes. history. Yeah. At the International 7, Team Liquid defied the odds. They may have fallen to Invictus Gaming, but their destruction in the lower bracket led to the elimination of five other teams, including heavyweights Team Secret and Virtus Pro. By the time they reached the grand finals, the momentum was too great for Newbie to handle. Liquid were TI champions. Historically, the story of TI winners usually ends there, but for Liquid, it was just the beginning. The TI champions emerged from the shadows of TI victory to join the first minor of the pro circuit, the Star Ladder I-League Invitational 3. Expectations were high, the critics were ready, but Team Liquid delivered, becoming victors of the first ever minor. The event set the tone for Team Liquid's Pro Circuit campaign, which saw them remain a constant threat and in direct invite royalty. At the minors, Team Liquid's stellar record was unrivaled. Not only did they place top three in all five of the minors they attended, but they also won three, the only team to do so in the entire season. What is more, in the finale to the Dota Pit Minor, Liquid even came back from 2-0 down to win 3-2, the biggest comeback of any DPC Minor Grand Finals. At the Majors, Team Liquid were successful, but not prolific, regularly placing in the top four, but unable to take home a Majors title, overshadowed by their two biggest rivals this season, Team Secret and Virtus Pro. Regardless, Team Liquid were part of some of the most memorable series on the DPC, especially at the Bucharest Major, where their clashes with Evil Geniuses and Virtus Pro in the playoffs went right down to the wire, much to the delight of Dota 2 fans worldwide. The TI champions have done what no other TI winner could by remaining a lethal adversary. There has been no such thing as an easy game versus Team Liquid. Slow and Steady won the race for a TI-8 direct invite, a credit to the phenomenal work ethic of this now iconic roster.